like, oh, the Illuminati owns the owl symbol. Well, uh, no, because it was an owl. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like it was always been an owl, and there, I don't think there's always been an Illuminati. So, would you like to buy Genius Muffins? Well, lucky for you, I am selling them right now. Now I may get visited by a busload of cheerleaders from college, and uh, we can disagree. That makes no sense. That's cool. Yeah, Mother Earth staring at me as a giant owl. Uh, she's in a pantsuit, though. Cut me some slack. Sure, she's Dolly Parton-esque, but Mother Nature drew her boobs. I did not. Hit the button, baby. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents... Hello and welcome. Could hurricane season start early this year? Thor says, absolutely. Ari, the weather guy, says, maybe. And Dick Cheney says, no. Actually, I made that up. I have no idea how Dick Cheney feels on this hurricane season. I make stuff up from time to time for jokes. And I usually tell you afterward, I just made that up. Okay, now <laughs> we got out of the way. Uh, two things. One, we might have our first hurricane a month early, being that hurricane season is traditionally June to December. We have a system slowly building here right off the eastern Atlantic coast. Could we have an early start to hurricane season in the Atlantic this year? Yeah, it's possible. Now, the actual hurricane season in the Atlantic generally starts in June, and of course the peak would be in about September, so we're still a couple of months out here. We're in severe weather time right now. But there's been a little something showing up in the long-term models, okay? I want to show you what I'm talking about. We're looking at sea level pressure here. It's pretty quiet for a little bit, and then by the end of the week, oh, what's this? A little something trying to pop up. Now, the good news is it doesn't seem like it would get a chance to gain a lot of strength. But the bad news is, if you've been watching my channel for a while, the ocean and wind activity due to the pressure has been extremely freaky dicky. And I ain't interesting mongering that up. Like, just look, we've had a lot of convergence lines that are just hard straight. Like, it's weird that we would have two separate convergence lines here. We've got our giant clockwise swirly in the Pacific coast and that there's been a low pressure system over the northern Atlantic for like seven months. Man, it's just been hovering there, sitting there, so that when the jet stream pushes all the air through, this low pressure system captures about half of it and pulls it back through the northeast Atlantic coast, which is one reason why, A, you guys have been getting so much snow and rain, and B, it's been so cold because this low pressure system is capturing a lot of the northern air. This Bojangly pressure system has been capturing a lot of the northern air and pulling it back into the east, which is why your temperatures have been cooler than norm. Usually the jet stream just blows on through and keeps on going. All right? Sweet. So yes, East Atlantic coat, let's keep an eye on this thing. It might be our first hurricane season of the year. Now, another thing that's strange, the Colorado Data Center. Wow, look at that thing, man. Look how big this pressure system is. It's usually about that size in a, in a circular globule. And this is more like um, a phallic globule with the break off here and a low pressure system in the East Coast. Was I saying? Oh, yeah. And we've had a strange pressure system line because it's usually in a glob. It's not, pressure is not usually in a straight bar line. And this has showed up several times, which is something to keep an eye on. Now, Hey, what is this wind doing? It's all just heading to the middle. Okay, University of Colorado predicts there will be a lower number of hurricanes this year. But, I believe they mentioned Atlantic. Because a lot of times New York and the media forgets that the United States is bigger than just the East Coast. <laughs> There's a lot of other states out here. You know what I'm saying? And we matter too. Um, so, they're not counting Pacific Coast hurricanes. They might be right. But as I noted covering hurricanes last year that I saw a record number of hurricanes develop in the Pacific Coast down about here. They would develop here, and then they would come up here, and then they would hit south of California into Mexico, the Baja region. I don't know, how many times did I see that? Like six, seven? It just happened again and again and again. That where our jet stream and moisture has been being pulled up through here, that's where the hurricanes would come. So I imagine we will see quite a few and we'll probably see some severe ones this year now i'm not a professional weatherman i'm not a professional pressure man i'm not even suspicious observers man i don't even have a bus i'm just a guy on the youtube channel who makes observations a lot of them are pretty dang good 